Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I didn't upload a video last week. I was super busy. I'm gonna upload two videos this week because to catch up, you know, I, don't, I feel bad about not uploading at least a PGO video a week. Uh, this one's gonna be the last mega I haven't actually covered in the Ruin Scars deck. I know it's super late, but I haven't covered it, so that's why I'm putting it up. Um, it's gonna be the Mega Rayquaza deck, and there was there was a time I'm not sure about it now, but there was a time when it was actually quite popular, and the, the Ruin, this this card itself was worth quite a bit on eBay. It's probably worth either about the same or maybe a little more than the actual uh, colors version. And the reason why is because 300 for discarding 2 energy is pretty pretty solid. Even though it is 5, there is ways to speed it up. Um, we'll go into a little more about it though. If you don't have Mega Rayquaza, I do have a Salamence deck that runs very similar to this. There are a couple of cards changed to make it flow better. Um, but if you do have Mega Rayquaza, then this is pretty much uh, the set that the set that I that I run it works really well. Um, the the matches end very quick, but if you like I said if you don't have Mega Rayquaza and the Rayquaza card, uh, Salamence works just as well. And you, and Salamence can hit pretty high. There's, the Power Hell attack can hit pretty high numbers. But let's get into it. Uh, our main focus of the deck is Mega Rayquaza EX. He's 230 Dragon type Pokemon, so he's weak to Fairy, which is kind of a bummer, but it's okay. He's got two retreat costs, which is okay. Um, how Dragon takes care of that? But basically, what you look at is Dragon Ascent. It's 300 and um, three fires, one electric, one whatever, one colorless energy. Uh, does 300. The only drawback to it is you discard two energy attached to this Pokemon, which isn't too bad because of the double dragon energy that came on the set. So you can discard that instead of two energies. So you discard two double dragon. Ah, you just got a one double dragon energy, and that's your energy. That's your requirement right there. So if you have four, you can do it four times in a row without really um, sacrificing anything. So you're finding EX Pokemon, like an EX deck, uh, three times is enough. Uh, if you're not fighting it, then discarding two energy can become a little troublesome uh, when you've taken like six prizes. But if most of the decks run EXs, so you'll be fine. Uh, it has a Mega Evolution rule, which is basically you kind of evolve. You, you evolve at your end of turn without, unless you have a Spirit Link. If you have a Spirit Link, then you, you can continue your turn. And he has an actual ability that only he has, Delta Wild, and basically any damage done to this Pokemon by uh, Electric, Fire, Water, and Grass Pokemon is reduced by 20, I believe. 20? Yeah, 20 after applying weakness and resistance, which doesn't really matter because he's not weak to any of those or resisting to any of those, which is kind of a weird text they put in the bottom of it. But I guess it's okay. He evolves from Rayquaza over here. You can use this one or the colors type, depending on you. I just like this one better since it, it dragon type as well and all its goodness. Um, but I guess in the fairy matchups, you can use the regular one uh, to help convey weaknesses. Uh, up to you, personal preference, really. It's 1A dragon type. It's, uh, I think it has 10 more HP than the colors version. I'm not exactly sure. I, I need to look it up, but I think it does. It has Dragon Claw for 30, uh, two, two colors energies, Dragon Claw for 30, and then Dragon Strike. For 130, uh, two fire, one electric, one colorless, and then you flip a coin of tails. This Pokemon cannot use Dragon Strike during your next turn, which is okay. It's not, it's not a bad. The Mega is the, basically the, the point of it, um, and the EX is just there. Uh, so he's basically the main attacker. The only thing that gets in your way is Safeguard Pokemon, uh, but we do have an out for that. Uh, he's right here. We'll get into him a little bit. But uh, as far as that, he is pretty much should be your main attacker, and he just needs support. So the support Pokemon in this deck is Hydreigon EX. 180 HP, a Dragon Road. If there's any standing card in play, the trade cost of each your Dragon Pokemon in play is two less, two colors less. He also has Shred, which can actually go through Safeguard as well, but uh, it's I prefer I prefer Rich Ram. So, uh, Shred is one Psychic, one Dark, one Colorless, and you do 80, and the attack is not affected by weakness. I not, attack is not affected by any effects of the defending Pokemon. Uh, so basically, Shred doesn't work. I mean, Shred works against Safeguard. Uh, if they have Hard Charm, it goes through it still. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, what is cool about it is even though we don't have the Psychic or Dark, we can use Double Dragon Energy to pay its, er pay its uh, uh, energy cost. Uh, only thing is, it has three retreat costs in it, so it can't give itself three retreat costs, but I run two of them for that exact same reason. Depending on what I'm facing, it depends on what comes out. Uh, Rishram is technically the backbone of the deck. Uh, he's a 130 dragon type Pokemon, but his way it makes him amazing is Turbo Blaze. Once during a turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you attach a uh, Fire Energy card from your one your hand, nah, from your hand to one of your dragon type Pokemon. Uh, he also has Brightwing for 110, discard a Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon, so that gets rid of Safeguard Pokemon too. But um, 
Turbo Blade is what we're using it for. We have plenty of Switch cards in here, but we're basically going to be using the Stadium, uh, Scorched Earth, uh, basically attaching, uh, let's say let's say attach Double Dragon Energy, then we Turbo Blaze our Fire Energy onto Mega Rayquaza, and then we use our uh, the ability here, Dragon Road, retreat into another Rishram, and then use Turbo Blaze once again. So we get four energies on one turn, so it's very easy or very simple to set up Dragonite. I'm checking it. Set up Rayquaza turn two. Uh, if it doesn't happen, don't worry. It sets up. If it sets up fairly well, it's fairly easy. Uh, so we have this. You use your backbone, but to help out with consistency and things like that, we do run Shaman EX as well. He's 110 colorless, but his ability is set up. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you may draw car uh, cards until you have six cards in your hand. Uh, so basically, you want to get your hand low as possible before you play him. Uh, Sky Return is also pretty useful because it, it lets him get off the bench just in case things are getting too serious. But like I said, uh, he's only there for when you basically have like a dead hand, or maybe maybe say for instance, because PGO kind of messes with you a bit. You have let's see, uh, Ultra Ball, Switch, uh, Superior, Scorched Earth, Spirit Link, and Arcaza. Like you can play your hand down pretty low before you get Shaman, and then uh, get a fresh new hand of six. So these are all just he's your main attacker, support, support, and then consistency, pretty much consistency wise. We run one escape rope and two switches. That's just to help combo the Rishams a lot better. <laughs> uh, maybe we can actually start up ten, turn one, depending on circumstances. Mega Turbo Energy to also help with uh, with the energy cost of uh, Mega Rayquaza. We can discard physical energies and then Mega Turbo them back on. So there's there's multiple ways. Two presses letter just so we for sure have some kind of fire energy when we have Risham out. Two superior to also get back the energy for Risham to put him back on. Two switches because you know we gotta retreat. Four Pokeballs because uh, four Ultra Balls because those are pretty much a staple. Uh, four Sycamores, all uh, four versus Seekers also for the staple. Two Choruses, one Last Hunter to get out anything troublesome. Four Ends, four Sycamores, three Scorched Earths because we run Fire Energy so we can draw into more great cards with Fire Energy with Scorched Earth. It also helps pay, pay the requirement for the Dragon Road. We need a stadium. <laughs> we got three Spirit Leagues because we have three Megas. Four double dragon, six fire, and one electric. Uh, the one electric is just in case you don't have double dragon energy or only use one electric, so that's there. I am super sorry if I sound a little different. I am super tired. Um, there's also a thunderstorm that happened not too far away from here, so it knocked on our internet and our electric for a while. And it's been a troublesome day, <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, this is the Mega Rayquaza deck, and so yeah, it's the last Mega I haven't covered. Uh, so it'll be this and another deck that I will be displaying and like as like always uh, like like I'm starting to do the the codes will be in the video because people are, are saying the bots can take them so I'm, I'm, I don't want that to happen so I'm putting it in the video uh, probably in the corner somewhere just did they just they just appear so if you just watch the video they'll appear somewhere and then you can watch it there are five so please only take one uh, out of, uh, and then every Thursday I'll be uploading another video so it's another fresh five so yeah so please only take one everybody give everybody a fair shot and it's mostly for the new players so they can get more cards and have like like this guy and like how he looks cool or whatever but yeah so hope you guys enjoy the matches uh i might upload a quite a bit of matches because they're they're all pretty short so i don't know, hope you guys do enjoy the matches so we're going against very sorry very sorry He's running Psychic Colors and Dark, which I'm hoping it's not Gallade. Oh, we got Tails. I'm um, hoping it's it's probably going to be the uh, the Miltank deck, right? Is that what? It, that's what it usually is. Which I have no problem with, but... I mean, that deck and this deck are kind of separate tier levels. Oh no, my bad, it's a Rayquaza deck. Wait, what? So Psychic Dark and a full of Rayquaza with laser. It's an interesting deck. Well, that's kind of cool. Rayquaza versus Rayquaza. Ooh, he's running a Gengar deck? Oh, whoa, 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 this guy's got the plays. A full art Gengar and a Ralts. <laughs> well, I got some of it, I got the Glade right. <laughs> the Ralts is throwing me off, but it's got me a Gengar. Um, should I get a Rishram out now? 
Yeah, I'll get through a shot. Ah, uh, let's see where we're at. Let's get out of Rishami. Put him down. Put it onto our Quaza. Sycamore. Got the Hydrea Gun. Got the Scorched Earth. Uh, we'll go to Retreat into our Rishram. And then, I think that's all we need, right? And a turn. I wish we had a fire energy. I should have, I should have fresh lettered. <laughs> I really should have. I don't know, I didn't, that's a misplay on my part. Because this whole point, the whole point of the deck is actually discard a bit of energy so I can use it later on. Uh, but that's, I guess it's fine. We did get another supporter, so it's not too, too shabby. Our opponent's got a call rest for six, which isn't that bad. So I, ne I never seen this deck. I never seen Rayquaza and Gengar in the same deck, so it's kind of interesting to see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a little Mega Rayquaza out. Um, is there anything else I really need besides? Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the, the Sycamore. Let's get out. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Get out of Shaman? Nah, I'm not gonna get out of Shaman. Shaman does me more bad than harm, but let's see. Get out a Rishram, I guess. Just to have multiple times to do it. And then Sycamore and Chorus for another with a good amount and we can start actually doing our attack actually wait not yet uh we'll go ahead and uh, scorched earth the fire perfect now we can start doing it we're gonna turbo it back onto him triple blaze our fire energy onto our rush again and then attach physically our electric energy we're gonna retreat into our mega Quaza and then dragon ascent for 300 on this poor defenseless Rayquaza EX, getting two prize cards, and we're mostly the way there. Uh, and he's gonna put out Gengar, and hopefully it's the Mega, so I wanna see what he's, he's gonna bust out. If not, he's gonna Dark Corridor, which kinda upsets us a bit, but we can just retreat. Um, he, doesn't have, he doesn't have Dragology out. Oh, he's just gonna. Okay, so we, we got that victory. <laughs> So we're going against Scooter252002. He's got Dark Psychic Fire Water. So he's got the full smorgasbord. So we got Tails, because Tails never fails. And then we're going to go and go first. Shaman Hydreigon. Okay. We're going to put Hydreigon out, even though I don't want to. Keep Shaman in my hands. Evolta. Okay. So, scary Pokemon right there. Uh, let's go ahead and use this effect. <laughs> we got another Shaman out. Uh, we're forced to end pretty much. That's a better. That's a better hand right there, I guess. Uh, we got end, but that's fine. And then that's it. And a turn. Uh, so our opponent, our opponent has the Volta. So hopefully by next turn, if we play our cards right, we can probably power up one Rayquaza. Turn two Rayquaza is pretty simple, but. There are times when you don't get, don't, even on share. You don't um, get it, and so you have to pretty much use it on your next turn. But double colors, can't use Evil Ball yet until next turn. That's Dark Patch. Dark Patch is a thing, but not in this current format. Let's see. Uh, nothing amazing. I could Mega Evolve and just call it a day, but I'm gonna go ahead and. You don't even play much, so I'm gonna summon Sycamore. Put on a wrist round. Ah, let's see. Cancel. Put on our our good old buddy or pal, our fire energy, and then we got an N, uh, Sycamore, and Chorus. So that's plenty of options. So get rid of the N. And a Mega Turbo, I guess. And then let's get out another Hydreigon. Put him down. Gives this guy a free retreat cost. Put out our our Rishram. And then let's get a Sycamore in our hand. And that is it. It's end of turn. 
I should have put the Dragon Energy in and, <laughs> and then Turbo Blaze the, the, the fire, but forgive me, it's pretty late. There's a, there was a massive thunder, that was a massive thunderstorm storm outside my house. The internet was knocked off for a while. And I'm really tired, it's pretty late. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna do i I'm gonna be doing some misplays. That's perfect right there. Three EXs for the knocking out. Now we complete our game here. Uh Shauna, which is the better supporter than Sharon. Uh let's see. So five cards. So I'm guessing his hand wasn't completely amazing since he had to do that. Oh, oh, we gotta kill that thing then. Actually, no, Mega Recalls handles that just fine. There we are. Okay, I see what you're doing. Uh, he won't serve another one. We're gonna retreat into our Hydreigon EX because you can take a hit. And then we're gonna come out with Mega Recalls. We're supposed to have a Spirit Link, but I weren't discarded one and I've got out Sycamore, which is also another misplay on my part. I should have just waited until the next turn, but I feared an end and I don't wanna lose. I mean I still got six cards, but I mean I mean the way I see it we just our damage stacked up, but we should be fine. Well, retreat into Mega Rayquaza. We just need an energy. Uh, now we get to that thing. Uh, let's go ahead and just get it. Let's get electric out too, just in case. We're gonna put on our other wrist ram, just in case things get too heavy. And then we're gonna go Dragon Ascent for 300, get rid of our double club, double dragon energy, and get get two cards back. So we got another double dragon energy, so we can just hit on another EX. But pretty much once Mario Claus comes to the field, he's gonna just come out. Shove his big body around and just knock out everything else. He's getting the other vaults already, but I mean, there's not much he can really do. He had to. He would have to do damage from the other Mega Rayquaza to. I love how they use on my stadium because <laughs> Lilio. We got another double dragon energy, which is fine. I'm gonna have to Ultra Ball into another Rayquaza just in case things get super serious. I do have another one to back to basically fall on. Uh, but we're gonna just Dragon Ascent, another, another Swift 300 around right? Gengar EX's face, and then, oh, good thing I don't surprised if I did that, if I did that one move last time, I would have lost the game, because I have not he would have been impressed. And so all he's left with is Mega, uh, with, with, all he's left with is Evolt EX, and he won't do enough to knock out Mega Ring. So that's pretty much it, this deck runs super quick, super fast, knocking out everything pretty much. I'm not gonna prolong it, because I hate when people do that, actually. And I'm just gonna just do 300. And I knocked out three X's in three turns. Super, super cool. So there you go. It took five minutes, actually, which is not longer than I thought it would take, because it, it didn't feel that long. But like I said, if I if I make if I didn't evolve Mega Evolve, if I didn't spend that turn Mega Evolving my Rayquaza, I would have lost because I might, maybe I wouldn't have lost, but the odds are or against me. Um, because my other Mega Rayquaza was prized and I only run three. And all in the spirit link was also prized, which is kind of weird. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta love those um, PGGO RGNs, random, random number generators. But that's about it. Um, I guess since the, since the match round pretty short, I'm probably gonna include a couple more clips of uh, other battles, maybe depending of uh, other battles, because all of the, all this deck pretty much either finishes fast or I. I had one deck, I had one time where all my Megas were prized, which is just bound to happen, I guess. And so that game I didn't win, but it was a very long battle. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. There are going to be codes in this one, and I don't know if how I'm going to hide it. I'll probably maybe just hide them, but if not, they'll probably just be around the video itself, because, you know, I, uh, people, people tell me that uh, there's like a program, like a bot that, can, that steals codes from YouTube videos, I guess. So I decided just to put them in the video, because apparently they can't steal from the video. They have to physically watch it. And so there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the last mega of the set that I haven't covered, and I haven't covered it for I don't know why reason. I just I guess I forgot about it. But it's a very fun deck. I prefer Salamence actually. In all honesty, I prefer Salamence because I'm I like evolving Pokemon. I like evolving to stage two. Even though they're they're more or less the weaker versions of the the card, I I like evolving. So that's why I usually focus on the evolution decks. But um, excuse me.
but yeah so if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like and a comment in the bottom if anything I, I mean I know I made a couple misplays but that's because I'm very tired I'm, I'm super sorry about that too um, but I'm very tired and, and so yeah <laughs> but other than that I hope you guys have a great day